Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. It's time for some spring decorating. We're actually gonna kind of do a mix of spring decorating with all of the spring home decor we just got in, as well as I went and bought some furniture. I've been wanting to refresh a couple of different spaces. Definitely my dining back there. I'm gonna run through that in a minute and show you. Uh, behind us over here in the living room, got a new piece. The patio got a new piece. So I think I'm gonna break this into two different videos. Today we'll do the kitchen and the dining and the front entry. And then I think part two, we'll dive into spring decorating for the inside entry, the living room and the back patio. And I'm gonna show you all some changes that we have made as far as the remodeling side of things. I'll show you some new furniture and then just decorating for spring and Easter. So let's hop on over and get started. So anytime I'm working on a big project like this one where I'm doing some decorating, some spring cleaning, and some spring decorating, tennis shoes are a must. So I throw on my favorite tennis shoes, I plug in my phone to listen to some great music, I always light a candle to help set the mood through the space, and of course, grab the sticker Yeti. Fill it with some water and I'm ready to dive into my project. For today's project, I wanna start by getting the house clean. I mean, dishes put away. I want the space totally empty and ready to be fully decorated. So you'll see I'm bouncing from space to space, getting just basic household chores done, but then I even take it one step further and get some deep scrubbing done while winter is packed away and spring has yet to be pulled out. So normally I do not sweep or vacuum until the very end of all of my decorating or whatever project I'm working on. However, this morning was super extra and I knew I could not continue to walk on those floors. So I decided to do a quick sweep using the edge of the broom to also clean the baseboards and the edges of the cabinets. Figured I'd hit two birds with one stone on this one. And then I always follow with the vacuum. I figure if we're gonna go ahead and stir it all up, we need to vacuum it up. So you're gonna see me hit a few spots right before we dive into more decorating and cleaning. And it actually really is kind of funny because we have a million things to do, like add on a half bath downstairs and, oh, put bathroom doors on my master bathroom. And I haven't done any of those things. I keep doing things like fixing this up, remodeling the dining room again, remodeling parts of the living room again, remodeling the patio again. I don't know, I guess that those spaces bring me joy. The movement in those spaces bring me joy. Whereas who's in my master bathroom besides me? I already know. So I don't know. I'm hoping, let's say, I wrap up this video with you guys. I film the second part of the spring decorate with me next. And then I start on the demo in addition, demo of my master bath in addition of the half bath. We'll see. Okay, so this is the space that used to be painted blue. 
I was tired of the blue, <laughs> big shock. And so we pulled that down and we actually just cut sticks and there is no base. So it has this like floating or the absence of a baseboard. I don't know, I just love it. So you can see where there's no baseboard and it ties into the actual baseboard. We are gonna put white baseboard right here where it's missing, just like you see over on that wall. But I am loving these wood slats and we took them all the way around. And so, sorry, we got plugs everywhere. But I really want you guys to see how we wrapped it around in the kitchen. So there's the kitchen. Project hopefully soon is redoing that whole side of the kitchen. It'll be so exciting. I don't know if it's uh, a 2023 project, but hopefully it's coming. But yeah, a just small, simple, very cheap little addition of this wood has brought this space to life for me. Very excited to overhaul this room, you guys. This room has looked like this for about five years and I've made subtle tweaks like painting this wall, but not really much else. And the original design was very, very uh, farmhouse meets mid-century modern, which I think is a beautiful look, but we have very much decided we really need to take this house back to its roots. It's a 60s house, um, so we want to get that mid-century feel with still that tiniest touch of farmhouse. So I don't mind leaving this original farmhouse ladder that Jonathan's mom used to own. But I wanted to get rid of the barn wood table. And so it all fell together a whole lot easier and better than I even anticipated. Let me show you. I actually decided to keep those same curtains in their room as I love the look coming into spring, but I did take them down, take them outside, shake them out, and let them sit in the sun for a little bit. And now I just have a Swiffer and I am cleaning all the spaces I normally can't reach or maybe aren't even seen. And wow, <laughs> it's so wild, you guys. A good spring cleaning is such a healthy thing to do. So I'm gonna run through this space, get it all dusted and wiped down and prep to put the curtains right back up. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day You guys, where do I begin? So there's an auction house here in San Antonio that I love to just follow. I love this stuff. And they have a mid-century modern, mid-century auction. I don't know, once a quarter, every other month. And I found the light. Looks like this guy. It was $1,100. Couldn't do it. Stumbled across this guy on Home Depot. And although he is not as grandiose or as gorgeous as that other light is, I have a couple of ideas for tweaks they're gonna up the sophistication and beauty of this light, but for now, it's installed, it's done, it looks great. And then right after I ordered this light for like $100, something super cheap, I found these chairs in a trash pile in my sister's neighborhood. These are real mid-century dining chairs. They need to be recovered. Some of the cushions have popped off, as you can see, which actually is gonna make the recovering process a whole lot easier. So Jonathan and I are on the lookout now for some fabric that we love, but we got a solid four. We have one with a broken leg. And then I ended up talking to the homeowner and he says he has one more chair and the missing leg. So fingers crossed that we do get those. Um, then we decided we wanted a round table. We swung by World Market to look for a big pot and bought this table. <laughs> It has a leaf, so it sits four now. It'll seat eight with the leaf in, which is perfect for my family. 
And then we swung by Living Spaces to also look for a big pot and found this rug for $150. It's a real five by eight wool rug. And I'm like, okay, Jesus. I mean, he knew I wanted to work on this space. I didn't think he was gonna pave it quite that smoothly. And so of course I just grabbed my vase and my orchid from my third and main Lux box. I brought the bar cart that has been over it by my office over here. We got this bar cart a million years ago from Target and everything else is the same, the same round mirror. Although I need to tell you guys, I'm envisioning this beautiful 1970s poolside scene, main colors pink type art. So now I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that. I would love to support, support a local artisan, a handmade piece. So I'm gonna start looking for that. But yeah, I just feel like this whole room uh, was inspired and I knew I wanted to do it and it just came together with more than I ever could have thought it could have. So whenever I do, probably at new curtains, because why not, right? get these chairs recovered and I do get that pink piece, we will be back. But I had to spoil it now because we're gonna be decorating for spring, we're gonna be doing all of these things and I wanted you guys to be a part of it. We are so <laughs> excited that this dining room so well matches the home and the year it was born. No, I'm not the same. Everything has changed every day. So after I got the dining room set, I came in here and placed the final touches on the kitchen, which we just finished cleaning. And of course my tear tray was a big priority. I've already ran through two or three different types of designs trying to decide, do I want to go spring? Do I want to go Easter or mix? I went with mix and I just have items from Target on here, season house box on here, holiday hall box on here. And it's a mix of this season stuff and last season stuff. Just something very cute, very simple, very happy. I do like my tiered tray to be displayed on a 360 and I put it in the middle, middle of the counter. And so, oh wait, is that candle over there? Because it's on fire. And I love color. I wanted so much color in this and I feel like that was achieved through just mainly my holiday haul box and my season house box, very happy. But I did wanna show you guys, I have a couple of these cloths. I have one of the ones I don't want my family to mess up here. I have another one that I don't want my family to mess up. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here. I'm draping these. I almost draped this up here, but then I decided I'm gonna put this over near the bar cart. I'm draping these so that they can't have access to them, so that they say pristine and beautiful. Um, and I can just use them year after year with a wash and an iron. But let me show you what I am gonna use uh, from Geometry Towels for our family that has a great spring look, but is practical and usable.
Everything turned out so cute. It was a whole lot easier than I thought it would be. And I'm always really, really thankful when I can spend a good amount of time cleaning because now I can just enjoy. I'm done. Well, not all the way done. I'm actually going to bounce to part two, which is going to be living indoor entryway in back patio. And I think I'm gonna to try to see if Jonathan will come help me on that one as well. He was in the behind the scenes on this whole project, as you saw, like vacuuming the rugs and getting them cleaned with the wet vac. I'm helping me move furniture, helping me build furniture. We had to build this table, helping me hang lights. He was all throughout. But I'm gonna see if I can get him a little more in front of the camera for this next spring decorate with me. All of the products that I have used are linked down below, especially if they're one of my favorite subscription boxes like Holiday Hall, White Home Woods, Third in Main, Season House, Just Deco. I'm like trying to run through. <laughs> we have a lot of them in here, plus my Target, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and all of those wonderful things. So I found them, and it's a current link. You can check it out down below. I hope that you are having a very blessed spring. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, y'all.